Tamara, hate the sweet spot with the 28 to 75 f2.8 for Sony E mounts camera. But now the Voltrox with their kick ass updates that unleash most of the EF lenses. So, will the Tamara be the rival of themselves? <laughs> Hi, extra here. I know I've been talking about this Voltrox adapter quite a lot recently, but there's something, something I really wanted to test out is this the classic Tamron 24 to 70 that came with the VC version. This was a very popular lens, especially this has this ultrasonic silent drive that is a huge plus for a video shooter out there. But sadly, um, most of the adapter couldn't support these lenses for videos or the focus. So that's why most of the people choose the Tamron 28 to 75 f 2.8 for Sony mounts instead. But one of the obvious problems is that the 28 to 75 is not wide enough as the 24 to 70. This is a real sweet spot for both photo and video shooter. Before we ran into the testing video, let's talk about some of the advantage you will get with this Tamron 24 to 70 f 2.8. Of course, first you are going to have a wider angle of view since this is a 24, and second, you do have the ultrasonic sun drive, which is a huge plus for video shooter. Third, you do have the option to use your APS-C camera since the Voltra has this focal reducer that allows you to have a full frame field of view and one stop of light. And one of the biggest advantages that I use an APS-C from Sony camera is the Super 35 mode. Yes, the Super 35 does provide you with a better 4K video. Okay, let's cut off this talking stop right here and let's get right into the testing footage. Okay, that's today's testing videos. As you can see, there's still a few problems. First is your aperture. The aperture seems to have a little problem when in the picture mode. You do not have the option to choose the f2. But if you turn to f2.8, everything will be just fine. Second is the video to focus. The video to focus seems to have a little bit problem when tracking the object. 
but as far as for people the face tracking it doesn't really have a problem it's pretty accurate uh, to be honest and the AF does perform pretty good job so if you are using these lenses maybe for interview or for uh, just um, people stuff you are doing just fine but you want to do the like the YouTube that switch from objects to people well you might be running into a little bit problem and that's something you should know before you are using this combination so that's today's video I hope you find this video helpful if you like this video please give a like subscribe share anything you want to know or want to ask or want to discuss please leave your comments down below and I'll see you guys soon peace okay let's hear the lens noise right now As you can hear, this is pretty quiet, especially compared with other Canon EF lenses. Thank you for watching.